Hello students, how have you been? I'm sure you are okay. Our lesson topic for today that's unit 11, the present perfect tense, that is language focus area. Yeah, everybody knows about the present perfect tense. You have learned this language focus area starting from the elementary till now. What we need is that we have to use this grammar part or present perfect tense in our day-to-day -day life. We have to use it contextually. So, to begin this lesson, I would like to show you that what present perfect tense looks like. Let's start from the form. Everybody knows what the form means that, right? Present perfect tense is consisted of two forms, that is, have or has plus past participle, or in other words, that is, v3, in the perfect form. So, let's going to talk about when do we use present perfect tense. There are different kinds of texts in order to use present perfect tense. Mainly, we are going to see four functions of present perfect tense. That means present, present perfect tense can be used in four different situations or contexts. The first one is to express an action which has been recently completed. The action is already passed, but it's recently completed. He has just come back, for example. As it is shown on the screen, he has just come back. Let me give you that one example. Assume that your mom or any member of the family is looking for somebody, but he has left his home or her home just recently. So in such a case, we inform to that person that your family member has already left his home. There is short period of time. In such a case, we can use present perfect tense. He has just come back. There are very important adverbs so as to use this kind of language area. We can see from this sentence, from this sentence, look now, there is just, he has just come, already, okay, already, recently, there are some adverbs that usually use while we are using present perfect tense in such contexts. Uh, so all these sentences are formed in a similar manner. There is just in all cases, the sun has just risen. We have just finished your task. You have just finished your task. This means that 
every sentence or every context shows the action is recently completed. He has just come back, as I have said that, right? Take any of your family member, he's just take off his shoes or something like that. This implies that, it's obey that a person or the family member is recently arrives at home. That is the meaning. The sun has just risen. Okay, there is the right type. Okay, when does the sun rise? We have just finished your task. You have just finished your task. Yeah. Just finishing your task. And then we are going to start another activity maybe. So this is the first function of present perfect tense. Therefore, recently completed action. The next one is to express an action completed in the past, but whose time of completion is not definitely stated. You see, the action is already completed, right? In such a case, no time is set. So in such a case, you can use what? Present perfect tense. For example, I haven't seen him lately. So don't say that. I haven't he seen him this morning, this afternoon, in the previous time, etc. That means no need of using this definite time. So in such a case, we can use present perfect tense. I haven't seen him lately. He has been to Dubai, but we don't know where he is now. That's it. This is the second function of present perfect tense. When it comes the third, to express completed action whose effect is still now, whose effect is continuous. Let me give you that sample example. I have had my lunch. I have had my lunch. You see? It's already completed. The effect is still now exists. In what sense? What does it mean? This implies that I've had my lunch means the speaker is satisfied. Assume that someone is or someone wants to invite him or to take part on the same dish. So, in such a case, right? Let's have lunch. Oh, thank you so much. I have already had. I'm satisfied. This is the meaning. That means he doesn't want to take any kind of food now. That is the meaning. That is the meaning. I have had my lunch. Satisfied. No place. That is full, in other words. So the effect shows that you don't have any kind of interest to have something to eat. That's it. In the second case, we have finished our work. We have finished our work. This means that now you are taking what? A nap maybe. Maybe you are watching film or movies. Maybe you are reading a book or a novel or a fiction. Maybe you are listening to music, etc. That is, the effect is there. Right? You are at rest now. Uh, similarly, the third one, that is, he has cut his finger. So, what is the effect? The effect implies that someone who is, what? Bleeding. You see? Yeah, bleeding. What's wrong to you? Oh, I've cut my fingers, okay? I've cut my finger. So, in such a case, bleeding by itself shows the effect of what? Cutting with something. So, this is the third function of present perfect tense. Good. And the last function of present perfect tense, to express an action that began in the past, continues up to now, the present moment, we must use a time expression here or in such a case. 
Look, in such a case, I'm sure everybody knows about since and for. Since and for are available here now. Since stands for a point of time, for stands for a period of time. So in such a case, the action is begun in the past and continuing up to now. For such explanation, some sample examples are shown on the screen. I have known him all my life. I have known him all my life. This implies that this is all my life, right? Time expression. All my life is a time expression. This expression shows as, okay, we are already familiar with that person. I have known him all my life means you have already familiar with that person. That is a meaning. That is a time expression. So in such a case, we can use what? Present perfect tense. In such a case of what? D. So all my life is not the only expression. Don't forget that. There are a lot of and the other expressions that we'll see them while we are trying to do some activities based on this language focus area. In the second, his father has lived here for 40 years. Look, this is a time expression. For 40 years. This is a period of time. This implies that, okay, his father is still live there. This is the meaning. His father is still live there. Right? So you can do a lot of examples, which is similar with this. Right? And the third case, she has been here since morning. She has been here since morning. There is a time expression here now. Since morning. This what? A point of time. So, in such a case, right, we can use also, she has been here for two hours, possible to say that. Different structures or different foreign scenes can be used in different contexts. They both are same. There is a point of time in the case of what scenes and a period of time in the case of what? For. Interesting. Good. Well, I'm sure that do this activity and okay, show each of each other with your what? Partner. If you like, you can practice it at all. Supply the simple present perfect tense of the verbs in brackets. Look at all these questions are consisted of the issues or the uses of the present perfect tense that we have seen so far. I'm sure that these activities will help you a lot to understand and to use present perfect tense without any difficulties. And then let me give you some time and then I'll come back and give you the feedback to each activities.
Now, I would like to give you that a feedback for each activity. Ah, that's good. Up to now, I have visited 20 countries. You have to add here now the subject, right? Subject, any appropriate subject, or up to now, they have visited 20 countries. Yeah, any subject is possible in such a case. Right? You can insert it. Right? I have, we have, you have, in such a way. And then you change the verb which is found in the bracket into V3 form. It becomes what? It becomes the present perfect tense. This implies that the case of what? The rule which set in the second case. That's B. I have up to now I have visited 20 countries. This is very interesting question which stands for second case. That is a time with without definite time. We can use it. So I visited is interesting. He blanked six letters so far. You see? This is with time adverb. It showed that recently completed action. This refers to what? The first case that we have mentioned in the first case, that is A. So, he has typed. The subject is already written here. Now, he has typed. It's appropriate answer. Very nice. This is recently completed action, which stands for the first case. They blank like this before. So, in such a case, they have, look now, they have never quarreled like this before. That's it. Blank here promise, don't forget that this is a question. It's an interrogative form. Therefore, in what way do we form? So, here, don't forget that, right? This is a kind of pronoun. Then, have H must be that's capital because this is an interrogative question. And then, have you forgotten? F or That's it. It's good? Thank you. Have you forgotten? Thank you. Next to this, let's see. Number five, she blank a director recently become. She has recently become. Please. Yeah, don't forget that. Right? There is a sound change, okay? Become. Have recently become. This is present perfect tense, which shows recently completed action. They belong to me. They have already. They have already spoken to me. That's it. She still blank my letter. She still has not answered. So, these are the feedback. So, before I finish my class, I would like to Give you some summary that we have discussed so far. Present perfect tense has four functions. The first one is just to express recently completed action. The second one is we can use it without definite time. In the third case, we can use it. An action which is begun in the, case the past and continuing up to now. And that's all we have for today. Till we meet next time. Thank you. Goodbye, students.